Welcome back, we're the Brim Junkies. He's Dan, and I just broke one of our cameras. I'm Paisley, I'm the breaker of cameras. Yeah. We're gonna go over April's haul, all the bottles we got in April, last month or so. So, get into it. Hopefully it's just a lens. First bottle that we got in, we drank all of these. So initially we'll also give you like quick thoughts on them. You want to get two out of the way that we just know that we don't. We drank them. We drank them on a live stream. This will serve as content for people who don't watch all our content. Some of these were reviews, some were on live stream, some were wherever. So. Do old midnight or moonlight mayhem. These are the coolest labels. I, they look fantastic. And they're the most stereotypical MGP, MGP products. Of they all have time. some of the coolest label, coolest bottle. It's all custom glass. They're fantastic on yeah. like labeling and everything, like Dan said. Packaging Pretty transparent, transparent on labeling too, yeah. which is great. Yeah. It's just, just, the, it's just young MGP. It's not bad whiskey, it's just young MGP. Yeah. But if you see them and you want to try them, they look cool on a bar. You know what I mean? 100%. Other than that, they do do that. I don't know that Sean and I will, I think you and I would just reach for Penelope's and Nulu's yeah. and other MGP source products before we reach for yeah. these. But really cool bottles though. Got these in Kentucky, Justin's. How's the bourbon? Yeah, I didn't drop it this time. Let me reenact Sean earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, right. it was definitely the stomp that got it too. All right, speaking of Justin's house of bourbon. Didn't know about that We one. accidentally <sighs> bought three of these. We ended up giving two of them away. These are four gate, yeah. Kelvin four collabs. Um, we had drank all four of the new 4K releases. Yeah, it's Kelvin 5. Yeah, sure I would. <clears throat> yeah, it's Kelvin 5. Okay. That's what I said. I don't know if you did. That's what I said. You said Kelvin 4. We bought three Kelvin 5s. Yes. Um, These were our favorite of the new Kelvin, or the new 4K releases. That might be one of my favorite uh, 4K releases, period. Yeah, I Honestly, think. That... Give me that little low gal, the little shorty, the third placer. Yeah, that's a perfect third placer. No. Oh. These, uh, honestly, like that, Forgate, of this, they've released four or five at once. This is my favorite one. Yeah, they did four in the yeah. last drop. I love and this one. This, like I said, it was my favorite of the drop and still probably one yeah. of my favorite that they've ever done. Ever. This is like whiskey of the year stuff. Yeah, it's If you fantastic. see these around 200, which is retail, then I these are a grab. We got, again, got we got this at Justin's house while we were down there too. Do we so. even open one anymore? No, we gave away two that were both sealed. Seems like an issue. We had those. Whiskey of the year stuff. We had, well, 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 we can't open it. We'll drink it all. Next! <laughs> I hate you. More recently, we got a Barrel King. This is our first Barrel King ever. I just realized that right now. Yes. Uh, a couple of people have done um, different blends yes. and drops with them, and we've just never gotten one before. Matt was kind enough to send us one, and then we had it on a live stream the other night, and it is phenomenal. This is the Whiskey King. It's got a really cool picture on the back of Matt jacked as hell. Um, Real picture too. These Barrel King, another source MGP, a little bit on the expensive side. This one was double barreled in Stag Junior barrels, I yeah. believe, or something. And this one is phenomenal. Yes. The I think we only had one other one, maybe. Some... I said it was like if ECBP and Stag Junior made a baby, yeah, and this would be it. And they're just phenomenally so put together. Yeah, this is fantastic, but. Um, this would 100% based off just this one alone. I would definitely buy other barrel yeah. King stuff. Keep, having keep had rebuying. This. Yeah. But, and it says MP1 is the batch and that's Matt Porter. Matt Porter, Matt Porter one. And you know what? Something I'm excited about. I'm only... Ooh. <sighs> this was sent to us by three chord. Ooh! Woo! So what? that was actually, we were supposed to meet with them about that. And it got here after the date in which they met. Mm. Um, so we didn't get to meet with them about this release, but this is I a honey, honey toasted three chord release. Batch number one, it literally says, bourbon and corn whiskey finished in honey and toasted barrels. This is great. I don't even care if it's nickel. It's not. This is I really good. I wouldn't care if it is. <sighs> if it was, they it, did it a good just, job. They did a really good job. I am a sucker for honey cask finished stuff. Yeah. That's fantastic. I love that. Could be nickel, actually, I don't know. But no, it doesn't say where. But that is this one. This now some three chord stuffs hit or miss. Yeah. Just because we've had some really dickle forward heavy dickle. Yeah, and they said that's pretty much an anomaly. That, yeah. The, what we got. Apparently the one we got. They really is scaled more back from that. Yeah. That's phenomenal though. I love really that. well balanced the honey. I don't often love honey stuff because usually it's over honeyed. Honey is very strong. This is nice. Yeah. 
that, that, that comes through like perfect. You get it in the finish, it's yeah. nice and warm. You get um, a ton of honey and brown sugar and cinnamon and everything delicious. All the good parts of honey come through the viscosity and the sweetness. And then all the nice parts of the toasted like round out the yep. back of the honey instead of ruining the whiskey with freaking bee shit. Mm, I don't know about that. Honey's bee shit. It's not. Basically. No. Um, you know what, dude? This one, easy. Super easy. This one's next. Oh, okay. Because we did them. This, okay, That's, this is the weeded. This is literally, we did a review on this and you can go watch that, but this is literally the best weeded money can buy from a value perspective at this point. That comes out next Monday. We review this next <laughs> Monday. <laughs> yes, this will be the next Monday release. This, we we compared it to the old release um, also with the, the, the original. Green River? Yeah, because there's a new blender. A new blender. There's yeah. Bardstown Bog Green River. Now there's blend, obviously different person blending. This is a new product. And then also in the same review next Monday is this Bardstown Foursquare collab. And if you like rum. If you like want rum, watch the review because this is in the review and, it, and there's rum in it. It's fantastic. But yeah, these came, um, these two actually came, these were sent by Bardstown and Green River. Actually, now I'm realizing. Where mm -hmm. these came from. All right, now, whiskeys that I bought with my own money. Look at her, look how pretty she is. I'll I mean, never not buy one see of it? these. Whoa. I'll never, <laughs> I can't find another one. That was so hard to find, I was shocked. A little Pete Monster action. The huh? new origin story of Pete Monster, I love Pete Monster so much. Arcana Pete Monster is one of the greatest whiskeys of all time, bar none, literally, hands down. Don't care what anybody says. Okay, um, I say bar none, but. Literally bar all. It's one of the best. This whiskey is not as good as Arcana, in my opinion. Sure that means the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them all on. This is so freaking phenomenal though. Um, but it's not as good as Arcana, but it's so good. This is like a throwback apparently to the very first Pete Monster they ever did. Here's the bottle that I bought that's not here. What was it? It's the uh, uh, store, the Costco store pick. Oh, Angels? Angels Envy. Really good. It's fine. I, I like it it's so a lot. It's it is heavily, heavily finished. It is heavily finished. I love it. It is very heavily finished. This is still a buy though, if you like peated whiskey. And Compass Box kills everything. So like, are uh, almost every uh, Angel's pick. Yeah. We see like one a year, so. Yeah, I think we have uh, literally like maybe now with yours, maybe collectively two. we have two or three. Yeah. Like that's it. I can so, think of one over there and yeah. I own one. Friggin' Costco. You know what? Where did you find this at? It was oh. out there. No. Where'd you, where'd you get this bottle? Andrew helped us get that. It was a good month for whiskey. Mr. Allen? Oh yeah, okay. Because this is one of the greatest Not bottles there. of all time, bar um, none. Was really, really, really excited to get uh, the old Jack Daniels 12, uh, the 10. It's they re-released, great. No disrespect to that line. Yeah, because it's good. This is so much better. Jack Daniels 12, holy moly cannoli, dude. One of the greatest Jack Daniels releases the greatest Jack Daniels released since Coy Hill. Yeah. Not even, and it's not even, there's just not even another comparison. I don't remember if they actually did do a 16. I looked it up. They did like a, uh, I know they did a 14. There's a an big 18 and jump a 21. in there. Yeah. There might have been a 16 in there. Oh, but I forgot. This is like the first time. I forgot to put that away. I put it as a little fact in the video of when we reviewed this. This is the first time in like 100 years that they've had an age dated product like this. Interesting. Or the 12 year age. Sure. Because it, it was like 1913 when they put that stuff out. Pre prohibition. Yeah, it was That's forever wild. ago when they had that those crazy age dated stuff. That's really crazy. Well, yeah. this, what a beautiful Shout out to throwback. Chris and yeah, what a beautiful, what a well done revisit or revival of an old line, whatever yeah. you want to call it. But if you see this, this is 100% a buy, even marked up a little bit for sure. I'm going to say about 82% of people that drink Jack Daniels don't know these yeah. products exist. But it's so good. By the 12. The 10 is really good too, but the 12 is like wild. It is. All yeah. right. You got one left? I got one left. Okay. What do you got left? One. Penelope Rio. Man, I love them boys. If you see this freaking whiskey, speaking of honey and amburana. No. Nope. It's terrible. So beautiful. Sean hates all Amarana, so you yes, just I get do. to Sean gets to literally exit yep. while we talk about this bottle. I I'm <laughs> I'm picky on Amarana. Yeah. I wouldn't say I dislike it. I'm definitely picky on it. It though. can be too much, too fast. It's just like honey. Really, yeah. Honey, I had some crazy honey stuff that was finishing honey for 14 years or something like that. It was probably like six months. And all it tasted like was honey. Like that was it. And I've had some Amarana stuff that was finished Amarana for like two days and it was too much because yeah. it's just Amarana is so heavy and 
overbearing. Amaran is a stage five clinger from Wedding Crashers without a doubt. Oh, a hundred percent. Like that is, it touches the, that wood. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, I can taste nothing but Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That is filled with candle wax. Do you know that, you know when um, Jacob imparts or imprints on Bella in Twilight? like instantly on the baby, which is super creepy and not acceptable. But it was instant, as soon as you saw the baby imprinted, mm -hmm. Amberana imparts its flavors just like that. So this whiskey, if you guys see a Rio for real, so <laughs> this, that's the best Twilight reference ever. I don't care who you are. This whiskey is honey, it's double cast <sighs> finished, honey and Amberana. The honey rounds out the harshness of the Amberana on the back. I generally am not the biggest Amarana fan. I like the new 4K one too, but look how much of that I've drank already. I hate them all. I have put a dent in this bottle. We've had it for like two weeks. And it's last but not so least, freaking delicious. a bottle I would love to drop. That's not very nice of you. You already dropped our camera. Why would you drop the whiskey too? Because I hate you. That's not, dude, I, that, that had nothing to do with me. I wouldn't uh, even touch I mean, that. so we get a little uh, Michter's Port Nelson. Or is it Fort Nelson? Sorry, I said Port. It's Fort Nelson. You know, single barrel, little, cast strength, mixers, bullshit that I didn't get to do because I was 11th in line. Louisville's so close to a port. Uh huh. I mean, they're on a river. Yeah, that's true. Usually ports are near oceans. You can have ports on a river. You, I guess you could. Have you seen a lot of them? Like a, a delta that comes out <laughs> into the ocean, but whatever. So this, we went to Michter's and we got really lucky. They hadn't done this in, what do they say? At least days. two weeks. Yeah, I think it's 20 Almost days. Almost three weeks, they hadn't done this. We waited in line one day and when we they opened the doors, they were doing this that day. Like Sean said, he did get uh, 11th out of 10th somehow because they only had 10 spots. But it's pretty damn good whiskey. And, um, and it's the only way you really get cast drink Michter's. Way, unless you want it to be 20 years old. And then you just have to, I don't even know how you get that at this point. I don't think that's theirs. This isn't either. I thought that was theirs. No. Oh, mm -mm. oh. This is the foreman as well, if some would say. Can't say that. Nobody knows it. Nobody can confirm it. This is all, that's- But I am very much denying what Dan just said. Everybody thinks Mictors is Brown Foreman. It could be. We, everybody thinks that. Nobody knows it, that's the craziest part. Yeah. They're the best secret keepers in the industry. They are. Actually, you know what? They might not be. Why? You never know who's the best at keeping secrets because they're keeping secrets. That's the crazy thing about them. It's that's the one secret that everyone wants to know and no one has said or will say it. So it's a pretty good secret. That's a crazy NDA. And that's what we got in like a month. Man, you think they pay people off? I think they kill people. Oh, I like that conspiracy theory. <laughs> That's a good one. I think that's they a tinfoil hat. Murder one. people. If you try to say it, everyone that knows. I think the, that's brown. Oh. Everyone that, that knows what it is confirmed, they have a little microchip. It what if only like three stem. people know? And as soon as you try to say what it is, Schmarrn, it just goes Poof, and it explodes. Like the Matrix. And you die. And that's why Mixer Secret has never come up. There you go. Now you know. The more you know. We're in the talk out. Why are you looking at them? I can look at them whenever I want. What the fuck? Dan's uh, gonna buy me a new lens. I'm not buying shit. Fuck that. Fuck. The problem is that it was such a good lens. <laughs> it's the best lens we had. Mm -hmm. 